I love Ariana Grande, so I guess this is the closest I'll ever feel to being Ariana Grande. Daisy Ridley is back for the final time in the ninth installment of Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker is packed with action, heart, nostalgia and lots of battles. Let's find out how the cast are feeling ahead of its release. I think the emotional like vibe of this film is amazing. Like it really did feel like everything feels good and fulfilled and sort of explored and um, and it feels wonderful to be part of that. But he has done an amazing job because him and Chris have literally tied up 42 years worth of film into one thing. So it does exist as part of the three and it also exists as part of the nine. Um, so that is all credit to them. The feeling. The force brought you together. It has been an honor to be a part of something that has spanned across so many generations and so many people love it and, and enjoy it and to continue it and be part of the new generation for me is just like, I feel like a, a, a big part of a, a very, very huge and amazing thing. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. <laughs> character Poe wasn't ever even meant to survive the first film. So to not only be a part of developing this character and telling the story and adding to the story, but then seeing the lineage, the long history of 42 years of storytelling and, and again, not only uh, the history of this movie, but the cinematic history, the cultural phenomenon that it is, uh, it's astounding and it's really moving to know that this really is the culmination of all of that. Good people will fight if we lead them. I'm still overwhelmed. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really once in a lifetime. Yeah. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. It touches on all aspects of humanity and, 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 and our history, and it pays respect to that, and so we can move forward. It's like, it's like this uh, overwhelming thing almost. It's not just a movie, it's not just the end of three movies, it's the end of nine movies. And so to have to take into account what we've inherited, what has come before, and what we do with it, um, which is part of the fun of exploring the story and discovering. Uh, but it's also very much the story of the characters in this movie. I mean, it's a, it's a story about these characters who have inherited what has come before in prior generations. You know, the sins of the father and the wisdom that was learned and like, you know, are, what, have they, what have they learned? Are they up to the task? And uh, that's really kind of where we find ourselves too. <laughs> Hello, lovely lady, you look awesome. Um, listen, I'm so excited for you. All of the cast have been going on about your first scene in the film, that it was intense and you were put under a lot of pressure. What can you tell me? of things. I was working with a horse that day um, that we called All Back in, in, <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the film. Um, and it was also a day uh, of a uh, flying ants everywhere. Um, flying ants and afros do not mix. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was intense because it's not only like there's like more people on set than I've ever seen before, but it's my first day. You know, the horse is a horse, so it's doing what horses do. Um, and uh, I had to control the horse and try and like dodge clouds of flying ants. And it, it, it happened. We made it. <laughs> it's fine. No one died, but definitely an intense. Everybody is incredibly excited for all of you. It's the final one and you're a part of it. Um, it's Christmas time, it's coming out as well and the expectation is insane. They're already saying, will it be Endgame? Do you feel that pressure? I don't, you know what, I think on a day-to-day -day basis you just don't even think about it. I think it's just so exciting to be uh, a part of it and we're just hoping that the fans and everyone interested in it gets what they want out of it and maybe a little bit more, you know. Um, it's all down to this last film for this saga and uh, we've worked really hard on it so I hope that shows. Final thing, did you keep the outfit? I got parts of the outfit. I couldn't take the whole thing, it's a very dramatic thing, I can't <laughs> bring a cape with me anywhere but uh, I took the archery glove and the little um, the head headband that she wears so yeah that's sat on my mantelpiece at home.
Christmas break.